Cancerians, Cancer, let's look at your weekly messages for April 19th through the 26th of 2021. Let's see what is in store for you. Let's see what the universe wants you to know. Do -do -do -do. Come on. There we go. Ooh, temperance. We got two cards that came out here. Temperance. Ooh, temperance and the hanged man. So waiting, being patient, and working on your own healing. So if you've been through a lot of stuff, I feel like emotional stuff recently. Oh, some of you might have been working on some like heavy duty jobs. It's come to a time when you're like, I've, I'm going to self-impose a break, self-impose a stall out where I can just like work on me for a little while. I just want to hang here and watch. And, and yeah, so it's, it's all about the, like taking a time out and healing and you need that periodically cancer. Um, yeah, like cancers can, cancers as a cardinal, as a cardinal sign. They can go, they can create things, they can do a lot of work really quickly, but then they need to check out for periods of time. And that is okay, all right? No guilt associated with that. If you've got some Virgo placements, <laughs> cancer, don't feel guilty about checking out occasionally because you just can't keep up that pace forever. You have to take little periods of time out. Um, yeah, reading books, watching movies, playing around with your social media, just taking some time to recalibrate. I'm seeing you this week spending some time doing some decluttering and cleansing of your home. That's a pretty good idea. It always brings new opportunities to take care of your home. And I'm thinking like um, going through closets, going through the refrigerator and getting rid of the old stuff getting rid of stuff in the pantry and taking it over to the food bank. Yeah, when you clean out your closets, take things over to your uh, local donation center. So, uh, yeah, I'm seeing like cleansing of, of your body, like by taking salt and oil baths, but also cleansing of your um, your home. So like you're, you're coming inward, being with the hangman, you're just like, you're doing your own thing and just taking it easy. And with my cancer placements, I'm like, that sounds really good. I am ready, <laughs> I'm ready for that. We had three other cards that came up and I think it's it's like talking about, it's, it's indirect. Indirectly, I feel like it's re referring to um, balancing your, your life purpose work with your worldly pleasures. And like, of course, our life purpose work is very much intertwined with our worldly pleasures. Um, our life purpose work is to balance worldly pleasures with the soul, with the, the work of the soul that goes beyond the physical body. But we have, uh, here's the work, right? Here's the balance of resources, and here's give it up to the divine. So for those of you cancers that have been dealing with I'm like, I'm really, I'm really leaning toward situations of, um, for those of you who have families, that you're trying to find some kind of balance with, a, like as a caregiver, with um, trying to find a balance between the work that you want to do outside of the home and the needs of your family and, and so on and so forth. I'm feeling like... There, there definitely needs to be some, some, some positive affirmations regarding you feeling comfortable, Cancer, with taking care of your, your desires outside of just nurturing and caregiving for other people. So looking in the mirror and saying, I deserve to do this because I just deserve to do this. I'm a human and I deserve to have things going on outside of my responsibilities. And like you are you are good enough, Cancer. You are what, the work that you're contributing is enough. <laughs> Don't worry about whether or not other people are saying you're good enough. And I was going through a checklist this morning, like every person that I'm responsible for, do, are they satisfied with my work? 
family. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, I think they are, like check, checking them off one at a time. I'm like, okay, so it doesn't make sense for me to feel guilty about taking some time for myself, taking time for uh, being spiritually led in the moment to do something that's other than just the mundane tasks, the mundane everyday household tasks, right? So let yourself get out of the routines of your physical work and the routines of the, uh, the mundane household stuff. Let yourself just be led one moment at a time to nurture yourself and to, um, I lost my tangent there, to nurture yourself and to um, clear space for healing. So I see, I can see you doing a lot of your own thing this week. That's okay. <laughs> That's just fine. All right. Cancer, this is where I have to leave off. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already so you can be in the loop about my readings that come up two or three times a week. And this is where I leave off. I love you. Thank you so much for being with me. I'll see you next time.